Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about skincare. I'm going to share with you some of my favorites, mostly focusing on the products that I love to use in the fall and winter, just because where I am here in Wisconsin, this is definitely the time of year that I have to change things up a little bit. Not everything, but some things sort of alter just because of the dry weather. So I wanted to share some of my favorites with you. To me, I think skincare is so important because you really need to take care of your skin. It doesn't really matter what makeup you're putting on top. If you're not taking care of the skin underneath, you're never gonna get the results that you're looking for. And I really have become very passionate about skincare. For those of you that don't know, I am a professional hairdresser and makeup artist. And I find that I'm having conversations with my guests about best skincare items, ingredients to look for in products, what to avoid. And in all honesty, where I like to place my money, there are definitely places that I like to save and there are definitely places that I like to splurge. So if you like to hear some of my favorites, just keep watching. Now, before we get started talking about products, I just want to give you a little heads up on my skin type. I really consider myself to have fairly normal skin that does veer towards dry in the fall and winter and a little bit more on the oily side through my t-zone in the spring and summer i am 38 and so i'm definitely starting to get to the point where i'm noticing those fine lines and wrinkles but i'm one of those lucky girls that still gets breakouts on occasion and i do find that certain products are more prone to break me out so i usually you know try to find things that are going to be effective and hydrating but not be something that's going to break me out so i just just wanted to give you guys a little info on that as we go through so let's talk a little bit about cleansers now this is an area that I really like to find something that's really affordable or mid-range because to me when it comes down to skincare ingredients there may be certain ingredients in some cleansers that can harm your skin but as far as like super impactful beneficial ingredients I just find you know you are rubbing it on rinsing it all off so if you have some of those more high-end ingredients, is it really gonna be that impactful on your skin in the 60 seconds or so that you're cleansing? So I really like to find something that is a more basic gentle cleanser that's gonna really still do a great job of cleansing. And then I like to put my money into serums, moisturizers, skincare items that are really gonna be staying on the skin for a longer period of time. So I'm gonna share with you two of my favorite cleansers. So the first product that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is something that I probably found seven or eight years ago at least, and it's from the brand Paula's Choice. And this is the Earth Sourced Perfectly Natural Cleansing Gel. Now, if you aren't familiar with Paula's Choice, I highly recommend you check out their website just because in general, they have some really great ingredient focused items. I found this natural cleansing gel to be really ideal because it is very gentle. On here it says that ingredients are 99% natural. With a lot of that stuff, you know, skincare and beauty items aren't regulated like let's say like food is so a lot of those buzzwords i don't necessarily pay as much attention to but i do find that there really isn't anything in here that's going to be harsh on my skin i love that this cleanser foams up nicely it has almost like a coconut water scent to it if you guys know what i mean like not like coconut on the beach with some sunscreen kind of coconut but really like that clean coconut water scent so I really find that this product gets off all of my makeup, but it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry. And I think sometimes, you know, when you find something that is going to take off all your eye makeup, especially, it can be something that's a little bit more harsh. But this one, I get very clean skin, but my skin still feels soft and touchable when I'm done. Now, this product I really always try to get on sale because it does retail for $18 full price, but usually I can find sales where Paula's Choice is doing 20, even up to 25% off. So I usually go and I buy like three or four of these. The other thing is this little bottle lasts a very long time. Like once it starts to get down to the point where, you know, it's really far down, I invert it and um, like set it up against the counter and I keep like milking that product out for like weeks So it just takes a little bit and you really get a beautiful cleanse with it So this is gonna be my top choice for a cleanser. So the other cleanser I want to talk to you guys about I don't actually have right now I ran out of it, but I did just order two in the Black Friday sale I believe it was Ulta that had it half price and that is the Kiehl's ultra facial cleanser the way that I had found this cleanser was through a campaign through Influencer. I was originally sent a few Kiehl's products to test out and I had never really tried any of their products before, but two of the products that were in the little box that I was given are things that I fell in love with and have purchased and repurchased. The other one is gonna be in this video as well, but the Ultra Facial Cleanser, again, is just a really nice basic cleanser. Now, 
full price on this is $20, which is on the higher side. But again, this uh, is a product that I would only splurge on when I can get a really good deal on it. So when Ulta was having it for half off for $10, in all honesty, it's hard to find cleansers at the drugstore for around $10 anymore, I feel like. So that's definitely another one that I really enjoy. Again, it's going to lather up nicely. It's gonna help really clean the skin, but it isn't gonna be harsh. Now, I have tried some of the like Cetaphil cleansers, some of those, you know, like drugstore, more like clean and simple products those can be really great if you guys haven't checked any of those out they really do a nice job of cleansing but I find that a lot of the ones at the drugstore don't clean makeup off quite as well one way to get around that would be to use a cleansing balm which I have my favorite that I'm gonna be talking about in a moment or to do a double cleanse but if you're doing a double cleanse then you're using twice as much cleanser so are you really saving anything in the long run it's kind of like one of those things where you have to figure out how quickly you go through a product and that's one thing that i always really try to pay attention to is the like potency and amount of product that you have to use because sometimes that's really where the price tag might seem a little higher but you're really saving some money so i really like the paula's choice and the kills cleansers those are definitely my top two favorites so speaking of cleansing balms, like I just mentioned before, that's a really great way to get a little extra clean um, if you are wearing a waterproof makeup or really you're just like went for an extra glam look and you're looking for something that's gonna get off that makeup gently, I really like to use a cleansing balm. That's going to be something that's usually a little bit more emollient, is going to help break up that product first, and then you can go ahead and get that product wet and then go over with your chosen cleanser. And I really do like the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. Now, in all honesty, there really aren't any pharmacy products that I have tried and not enjoyed. This is a little bit of a pricier product. Full price, this balm is $34. That seems pretty high ticketed, but you guys, like, I need the tiniest amount of this. Like, it's gonna take me another probably three months to get through this guy. One of the things that I like about this cleansing balm is it really helps almost make your skin feel softer and it does rinse away really cleanly. Some cleansing balms can either leave a waxy or an oily feeling and that is obviously not something that most of us are going to enjoy and I'm sure it's not that great for your skin. Just looking at the pharmacy info, this has sunflower and ginger root oils to melt even stubborn makeup, including long wear makeup without stripping or drying the skin. It has turmeric and moringa extract that help remove impurities, sunscreen residue, and fight the effects of pollution. It also has papaya enzymes to give you a little bit of gentle exfoliation. So some skincare benefits in this guy. It's definitely a favorite of mine. And around this time of year, you can usually find some great pharmacy kits that have that with a couple other extras in it. So that is something that I don't necessarily use every day. I use it when my skin is feeling just like a little extra loaded down. With a product like this, it works really great to get liquid lips off. If I have put on a heavier eye makeup, like a deep smoky eye, or if I'm wearing a waterproof mascara. So it's not necessarily something I use every night. Um, I don't ever use it in the morning. It's just like on a as needed basis. So now let's talk a little bit about morning. Now. I have had several skincare specialists tell me that they don't cleanse their skin in the morning. Yeah, you heard me right. I was talking to an esthetician about how, you know, it can be a little extra drying on your skin and a lot of times you really just need to be using um, water to help sort of like wash away any excess oil, sweat, things like that, and that you usually don't need to go through with a cleanser. In all honesty, I thought she was kind of crazy, and I told her that I was gonna give it a try for a week, and it was actually that week that I was reading an Allure.com article, and they had like several dermatologists or estheticians, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was dermatologists, talking about their skincare routines, and three out of the five said that they don't wash their skin in the morning, and I was like, okay, there's must be something to this. So I gave it a whirl. I do really enjoy that. Most times I'm not actually using cleanser on my skin in the morning, but sometimes what I do use is a micellar water. Now, what this is going to do is it's gonna help gently take away any 
oil residues, any little bits of makeup that may be left on your skin. But what I do when I wake up in the morning is I put lukewarm water on my face, just splash it down. And then I like to use little microfiber towels that I change out every day or two. And then I've been going through with the It Cosmetics Miracle Water. Now, I think I saw this in a dupe that video where the girls were talking about how much they like this. And I was like, okay, I mean, is it really like better than water? You know, like, am I gonna be spending this high ticket to get basically water? And what It Cosmetics says that it's a skin brightening radiance booster, anti-aging treatment essence, and skin softening micellar water. This water does retail for $38, which again seems a little bit higher priced, but I have been using this for so long and I'm just now about halfway down. So I just wet the cotton pad, swipe it over my face. I usually concentrate in case by any chance there's like any residue from makeup that I didn't get off. Um, I will also like focus on the more oily areas of my skin and I let that dry and it's not sticky, it's not like overly pore tightening and I have just found that my skin just looks nice and glowy and it feels really nice and cleansed without actually going through with like a soap and water cleanser. I think that, you know, anytime that you're using a little bit more lather and of course you're using more warm water, some of those things can tend to dry out our skin. So this is a way, especially this fall and winter, to be able to save your skin from getting over cleansed. So like I said, I will use the micellar water in the morning and then the cleansing balm at night, depending on the day. They're definitely products that I found that I really enjoy having in my routine and they both will help save your skin from getting overly dry this winter time. So while we are at the sink, so to speak, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. I've been using this product for a long time and one of the things that I love about it is while it is a physical exfoliant, it is super, super gentle. It's just a very finely milled powder that you mix into your uh, like damp palms or fingers and you will just put that over your skin and rub it in um, for about 60 seconds and then rinse it off. So this has ingredients like salicylic acid and rice bran to really help exfoliate the skin. Obviously salicylic acid is more of a chemical exfoliant, so you're gonna get a little bit of both, but it's very, very gentle. So A, if you are new to exfoliating your skin, that would be one that I would really recommend. It's really quick and easy to do. And exfoliating is something that is super key to be doing to get the best skin you'll ever have and also one of the top things that I think people skip out on is exfoliating the skin. A lot of people keep trying to like pile on serums and moisturizers to take care of their skin, but if you have that dull, uneven texture on your skin, nothing that you do is going to A, probably penetrate that and B, remove that other than an exfoliant. A chemical exfoliant is going to for lack of a better term, almost like dissolve that excess dead skin and a physical is going to really like physically and manually polish that off. Um, most of the time, just as a generalization, physical exfoliants can be a little bit more irritating depending on the strength of the exfoliant, but this is super gentle and it's one that I love. If you're looking for a very gentle option as far as a chemical exfoliant, what I always steer people to trying for like beginners, let's say, is the Polish Choice BHA lotion. Now, um, when I say lotion, it's actually more like a toning type product, so a liquid. I don't have that one in stock right now, but I will pop a picture of it here. Again, if you're gonna check out the Polish Choice website for the cleanser, you might as well check out the exfoliant as well. Again, because it's Paula's Choice, you're gonna get great bang for your buck. It's just under $30, I think it's $29.50, but you're gonna get two full ounces. That is gonna last you a very long time because again, it's one of those products that you just wet on a cotton round and simply swipe over your skin. So that's gonna be a very gentle way to go ahead and start the exfoliation process. While we're on the subject of liquid toners, I wanna to talk a little bit about the Tarte Knockout Treatment. This is another liquid product that you would put on your cleansed skin with a cotton round or something similar. This one has salicylic acid and lactic acid in it, so you're going to get that double dose, which is really great for exfoliating, but also for helping treat breakouts. So this one I recommend if A, you're a little bit on the more oily side, or you are currently experiencing some breakouts. So if I have um, some breakouts on my chin or oftentimes look at them like right in this area, I will use this in place of another toner and I will just sweep that over my skin, let it dry for about five minutes before I go in with any of my other skincare at night. So this is one that I really like. It's relatively inexpensive at $18 and 
I find that it really does help. A day or two of this and I find that my breakouts are significantly less inflamed and they just tend to go away a little quicker. I will say that this does not smell good. It smells a lot like vinegar. So it isn't going to be one of those products that you're like, ooh, nice, but the vinegar smell does go away after a couple minutes, so you don't have to worry about that. And most of the time we're putting something over the top of it anyway that would mask that. I appreciate though that Tarte did not load in a bunch of different fragrances to try to cover that up because a lot of times fragrances will just make you break out more, so you'd sort of be defeating the purpose. Sorry about this like traveling light thing we have going on. In the afternoon in this room, the light finally starts coming in and so we're gonna kind of like see this go throughout the room. So I apologize for that, but I'm just gonna keep going and sharing with you my favorites. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about some products that I usually only use during the day and then some I usually only use at night. Now, a few of these products I'm not gonna to delve too far into. I just talked about a couple of these in the Sephora VIB sale recommendations that I did. If you wanna know a little bit more about them, you can check out that video. But I still wanna mention my C Firma Day Serum from Drunk Elephant. This little baby is quite pricey. It comes in at $80. That being said, this lasts me probably six months. Um, it honestly might even be longer than that. This has exorbic acid and pumpkin ferment extract, so it's really going to help keep your skin glowy, and it has that vitamin C to have all of those skin brightening benefits. This serum, as I mentioned in that video, is one of my favorites. I've been using it for a long time, and I don't plan on changing anytime soon. I will say that this is one of those products. A lot of these, actually, I don't really recommend on stocking up on like having major backups of, which I know sometimes when you find that product that you really love, you want to like make sure you don't run out of it but the vitamin c serum does last about six months a lot of these things they will lose their efficacy over time so they won't be as efficient and then sometimes they actually will go rancid so you want to make sure um, to really only be purchasing as you go or if you know that you're going to be running out in a month or two it's okay to pick up a backup one product that I enjoy using during the day or night is the ordinary plant-derived squalane oil squalane 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 Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's squalane. But um, this is really a beautiful emollient hydrator. Now, this is 100% plant-derived squalane oil, which is really gonna be ideal for any skin type, but the bonus of this is it's not going to be pore clogging for those of you that have oily or acne-prone skin. I like that it is fairly fast absorbing and it doesn't leave your skin feeling really oily. A lot of times, especially if you have a dry skin but that is sensitive or breakout prone, it's hard to find something that will still soothe your skin but isn't going to further those breakouts. So this is a great one for that. I do find that I like to put it on under an extra moisturizer, but if you have oily or combo skin, this could certainly be used alone. If you're not familiar with The Ordinary, it is a very cost-effective company. This little bottle comes in at $7.90 and this will last you a very long time. And I've tried many of their products and really enjoyed them. The moisturizer that I've been using currently and loving is the Pharmacy Honey Drop Moisturizer. I really enjoy this because it feels very soothing and hydrating, but it's not heavy. It's so lightweight as far as like the texture of it that it lays really beautifully under makeup. So it has become my day moisturizer of choice. This one is $45. The only thing I will say is I wish it came in like a tube because I hate jar packaging. Like I am just too lazy to like have to open this thing up, grab a spatula, um, but I guess it's worth it. A lot of pharmacy products contain honey in them. This one does as well, obviously, given the name. That's going to be soothing and naturally hydrating to the skin. So this is a great one to add in for your fall and winter if you're just looking for like that lightweight dose of love. The sunlight coming in behind me is really goofing with the lighting on my camera, so I'm sorry about that, but we're just gonna keep on rolling. So another moisturizer that I really enjoy I will use it sometimes during the day when my skin is needing extra hydration, but I do oftentimes use it at night, is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Now, like I said, I did receive some Kiehl's products through Influencer probably a couple years ago. This one I repurchased after trying the little sample size. This is the 4.2 fluid ounce jar, so this will last a very long time. It's $50. They do also have one that's about 1.7 ounces that retails for $30, but I find that once I know I love a product and I'm gonna use it, obviously usually it's a little bit more cost effective to buy the bigger size, but they do have the 1.7 ounce and then even a, one that's a little bit smaller than that, like a mini. So. This is a great one to be able to have. I find that it is super nourishing. It has no like fragrance to it. So it's 
you know, just that enjoyable, clean experience. And I find that it does everything I want without any frills. On the Kiehl's bottle, it says it's made with antarticine, a glycoprotein extracted from microorganisms sourced from sea glaciers. And it's notable for the ability to protect skin from cold temperature. So this is so perfect for fall and winter. I do find that it is a little bit too rich for me in the spring and summer, but for this time of year, this one has really become a favorite of mine. So while the Kiehl's is really the moisturizer that I tend to use at night right now, I do have a couple moisturizing serums that I like to use at night before I put my moisturizer on. I find that I enjoy loading on extra hydration at night because I don't have to worry about the way it's going to land or my makeup or how long my makeup will last because of that. And I talked a little bit about The Ordinary. One of the other products that I really liked from them is their rosehip oil. It comes in the same packaging as that one does. I don't have that on hand right now because I sort of got away from using it for a little bit and when I went back to it, the scent of it smelled rancid and so um, I know that I'd had it for quite a while and since it is 100% organic, I just assumed that it had maybe gone bad. When I was doing research for this video, right on the information, it says because it's 100% organic and cold pressed, um, it tends to have a scent to it and it says right there, this does not mean that this product is rancid. And I was like, I wish I had read this. I mean, it's actually really inexpensive. It is 980 for the same size as the squalane that I showed you guys. But in the meantime, because of that, I had picked up this little guy from the Good Molecules brand. And I believe this is a Beautylish brand. Like I think this is actually Beautylish's brand of skincare. I could be wrong, but it is only sold on Beautylish. So this brand, similar to The Ordinary, is a lot of like standalone ingredient products and it's also very inexpensive. This little guy is $10. It is about half the size of the one that you'll get from The Ordinary, so The Ordinary is actually even more cost effective. I really enjoy rosehip oil because it's rich in fatty acids. I find that it helps soothe the skin really well and it's great for acne. Um, I find that it really helps brighten the skin as well, so it's like a multi-purpose oil. Both of these are cold pressed and don't use like solvents to be able to extract more of that oil from the rosehip seed, so very high quality products. Um, again, a little bit goes a long way. You could mix droppers like this in with your moisturizer, but I actually just like to make sure that it gets a really strong dose straight onto my skin. So I will put the oil on first, let it absorb for about a minute, and then go ahead with the moisturizer at night. So I feel like I use the squalane during the day because it tends to soak in a little bit more, and I use the rose hip at night um, just so that you know I really get that like extra dose in there. Now, another product that I spoke about in my Sephora VIB is another exfoliant. Exfoliant. If you guys can't tell, I'm really all about exfoliating, but I do get a lot of questions about my skin. And a lot of times people are saying, oh my gosh, like what foundation are you wearing? Or what concealer are you wearing? Like your skin looks great, but really it is all about what you do to your skin, not what you put on your skin. So that's just a little like soapbox comment for me. But I wanna to talk to you guys about the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. Again, I'm not gonna to go too into detail with this, but this is an AHA resurfacing night serum that does also have the honey because it is pharmacy. And I love this one. I find that it is very gentle for a chemical exfoliant. I choose to use this at night before I put on any of my serums and I find that it really has helped reduce texture. I feel like my pores are more refined. I feel like fine lines have kind of been blurred over time. This product has replaced my Good Jeans, um, which is a Sunday Riley product. This I find that I actually enjoy more and it's much less expensive. The Honeymoon Glow is $58. I find that this does, again, last me about six months. So so that definitely has some potency there. Hang on guys, as I'm editing this video, I just realized I never talked to you about Luna oil. It was sitting right next to me on my vanity and I never picked it up, but this oil is definitely a nighttime skincare must have for me. So this oil combines retinol ester and blue tansy oil. Retinol ester is basically a retinoid, which is going to be a little less irritating than traditional retinol, but you still get a lot of the skin cell turnover and collagen boosting factors from it. It's really great. I love that it also has the blue tansy and German chamomile, which is going to help soothe the skin. So if you're new to retinols, this is a great place to start. I love this one. It is a little bit pricier. I tend to buy the smaller bottle, which is a half an ounce at $55. If you know you love it, you can get the 1.18 ounce 
for $105. It's definitely, like I said, something that I've noticed a profound difference in my skin using every night or every other night. I usually do alternate it with the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow, and it's one that I love and recommend. All right, just a couple more products to talk about. First, I wanted to share with you really the only mask that I find right now that is worth me mentioning. I try a bunch of different masks, and right now I don't have a lot of them that I'm like, oh my gosh, I couldn't live without this. But the one that I am really enjoying is the Cora Organics Turmeric Brightening and Exfoliating Mask. So this is basically like a scrub and a mask in one. This does have a little bit of a physical exfoliant to it, so it will be slightly scrubby, but I haven't found it to be irritating. What I do is after I've cleansed my skin, I massage it in very gently, not using a lot of pressure, but just on the surface for about 30 seconds. And then I leave this on for about 10 minutes. I find that the you know turmeric is really good for anti-inflammatory properties. You're gonna find that your skin is more bright. So this is just a really good way to refine and brighten your skin texture. This is really the only one in the, honestly, the last year or two that I've tried that I've been like, wow, I'm really enjoying this. So I do really like this. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Cora Organics, I believe that it was started by Miranda Kerr. So if you wanna feel like a supermodel, you should check this one out. All right, my last product is for lips because we cannot forget lip care, especially in the fall and winter. And my choice is gonna be the Agave Plus Nighttime Balm. Now I talked about this again in that Sephora video. Now when I did that video, I hadn't been using this for a long time, but I have very quickly fallen in love with this product. It is the product that I need on my lips every night. I really do enjoy it. It's very emollient. It has a really rich feel, but it isn't waxy and it's not too sticky. It has just enough tack to it that you know that it's gonna stay on a long time. And again, I wish that this came in a tube because it's another jar that I have to either stick a spatula into or stick my finger into. One I'm too lazy to do and the other one kind of grosses me out. So I wish that they would make this in a uh, tube form, but it's still worth it. It is definitely something that has helped save my lips in the fall and winter. All right, you guys made it through. We got through lighting issues. My battery is about to die, so I wanna make this outro short, but thank you so much for sticking with me while we talked about some skincare favorites. Like I said, it truly is a passion of mine. Let me know down below, is there anything that you're gonna try out or is there anything that you think I should try out? I'm always up for trying new skincare. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you've enjoyed learning a little bit about my skincare favorites, please don't forget to like this video. I would also encourage you to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm wishing you all beautiful, bright, hydrated skin in the months to come. Thanks and I'll see you really soon.